All right, your boy Swanee's in the building. I had the wrong wire hooked up. I, I connected this one from my headset. <laughs> it's not, not the one that goes to the uh, computer. So, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. So nothing, to, nothing overly technical, but we did get it fi figured out. So uh, again, um, Justin Ross on a podcast, the Players Club. I guess the debut episode. Hosted by Darian Rencher. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it was, I didn't watch the whole thing, but what I watched was okay. I, I thought Darian did a good job. I, I think that um, Ross was certainly very relaxed talk with him, which gives you sort of a, a peek behind the curtain, uh, if you will, type deal. But uh, here's a rapid fire segment that I just kind of really enjoyed uh, with these two guys. So here's Darian Rencher and Justin Ross. Uh, chatting it up again recently before, I guess at some point this week, I didn't see a day, but I believe it came out maybe yesterday, but uh, here's Wrencher and Ross. I'll call this rapid fire. So pretty much either give me an answer to the question mm -hmm. or give me your first thought. So when I say some, it's either going to be a name or something. It'll be like first thought that comes to your mind and say, all right, here's a question. Your favorite artist, top three right now, who you listen to? Top three, uh, Lil Baby, Gotta be. Lil Dirk, Gotta be. and Rallo. Rallo. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, favorite food, what you got? Wings, mild lemon pepper sprinkles. Are you blue cheese or ranch guy? Ranch, ranch, no, no, I don't do that. <laughs> all right, man, favorite receiver um, in the league right now? Julio Jones. All right, easy, that's fitting. Um, favorite sneaker? Um, Jordan Forbes. Solid. I just got some fours. Got the, uh, the metallic purple joints. 2018 National Championship. First off. One hand kick. Easy. Easy. Look, <laughs> easy. All right. Uh, Coach Sweeney. Uh, dependable. Reliable. Always always there for you. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. The GOAT. <laughs> easy. For sure. Uh, DJ. Ui Angagale. I said it right. The baby GOAT. The baby, baby goat. goat. All right. But then NIL. Uh, Should have been here. Should have been here a long time ago. For sure. For sure. It's, it's been good for the boys. Uh, all right. NFL. Someday. One day. Well, I'll be there one day. Favorite game you've played in since you've been at Clemson? I, I, may, I might know this one already, too, but just, like, favorite game. My first my first South Carolina game, for real. That was hype. That was the uh, the one at home. J. Ross, sign up to the people. Anything else you want to say? I really enjoyed hearing him talk about Justin, uh, excuse me, about Trevor Lawrence and DJ Uyunglele, especially after what we heard from Tommy Bowden and sort of uh, his thoughts on what Don Munson feels about DJ and what DJ could be at Clemson. So, uh, again, just a fun little interview. Probably, I think the whole show is like 21 minutes. Uh, again, it's called the Players Club debut and the return of uh, Justin Ross, I believe, or Jay Ross. Uh, but Darian Rencher and Justin Ross just sitting down, shooting the breeze, talking a little CFB. And I, I know that you all are excited about it. Clemson Tom texted me just moments ago and was like, Swanee, this is going to be a blast today. I think he was flying into the area. We've got people we got to put in the penalty box because they share the show. Um, let's see. Nick is in the penalty box. Nick said he shared the show and let's go Tigers. Appreciate it, Nick. Thank you for bringing more people in, but I can't just let those types of, I can't let that type of behavior go unpunished, Nick. I hope you understand. I hope you can respect that. We got to have discipline in our show, Nick. Discipline in the show that shakes the Southland. 803-450-0086. Again, you want to make your predictions on the ball game? Get them in now. Clemson, Georgia, what do you think? What's the final score going to be? Yesterday, we had a Georgia Bulldog on the line. Seemed like he gave a very fair and honest reflection. We've got that video up over on our YouTube site. Make sure you subscribe over there. Share our work. Share our YouTube videos. Tell your Clemson buddies to subscribe. We got that goal. I, I'm getting worried about it. I wasn't worried about it earlier in the week. But we had a goal of hitting 500 subscribers. I kind of came up with it on a whim because I said 1,000 by game six. and then. You guys started to make us get closer and closer to 1,000. on, And I said, well, let's go, or excuse me, closer to 500. So I was like, well, let's push the envelope. Let's see if we can't hit 500 by the kickoff tomorrow. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. 
but we might if you go hit that subscribe. So go ahead and take care of that business uh, and get us uh, get us one step closer to our goal. Again, last night in the world of college football, there was more than just uh, Ohio State and Minnesota, but that was the marquee game uh, for me to to tune in and watch because really I wanted to see what Ohio State looked like. NC State looked sharp, 45 nothing over USF, knocking off uh, Jeff Scott's squad, 45 to nothing. Tennessee over Bowling Green, 38 to six. A big matchup there uh, for, or excuse me, a big victory there for the Tennessee Volunteers. And certainly, I think that, you know, they are a program right now that is probably equally as frustrated, if not more than South Carolina because the Gamecocks for so many years felt like they were that close. And now it just feels like Georgia and Florida have separated themselves again in the SEC East. And you don't even really have Tennessee there to throw that third kind of name out. And that's where South Carolina wants to be. Like that's the goal for the Gamecocks, right? I mean, they want to be in that top four in the SEC East, but unfortunately they haven't been, they haven't been close. and. Tennessee fans, I think similarly, are kind of hoping the same. It's amazing when you look at where Tennessee once was. It's amazing when you look at where South Carolina was not all that long ago, how quickly uh, those two programs have really, really stumbled. Also last night, Coastal Carolina, 52-14 over the Citadel. And then you had App State, 33-19 uh, over ECU. And, of course, Chase Bryce right there uh, threw for 259 yards and two touchdowns for App State, the former Clemson Tiger quarterback uh, in that ball game. And I know lots of lots and lots of people uh, were excited about Chase Bryce last night. I saw it on the social media, man, playing that game up in Charlotte. One of the uh, one of the, the Dukes Mayo classics, of course, Clemson and Clemson and Georgia going to be the other one taking place tomorrow night. But I saw I saw a lot of people on social media hyped up about the way Chase Bryce was playing. Again, 33-19. to 19. Don't forget, South Carolina plays East Carolina next week. The Gamecocks have Eastern Illinois this week. We hit a quick break. We'll come back with more of the show that shakes the Southland. Stay with us. <laughs> 